Hi everybody! Welcome back to our channel where we talk about all things related to power, such as rechargeable batteries and chargers. In last week's video, we talked about how to choose the right rechargeable battery for you. If you missed it, check out the link up here or down in the description. In today's video, we're going to talk about chargers. As you can see in front of me, there are a lot of options and get a little bit daunting, a little bit challenging to choose the right one for your batteries. Um, these are just energy specific chargers. When you're searching for a charger, there's going to be even a lot more on the market to choose from. So we're just going to demystify that a bit, break it down, kind of explain what the specification means, um, which one matters specifically for you, how our energy chargers differ from each other, and walk you through that. In case you're wondering why we have so many batteries and so many rechargeable chargers, the reason for that is that we've been in the business for about 17 years producing chargers and batteries. And so with each product iteration, it's more tailored specific to a customer's needs. That's why we're gonna break that down in today's video. If you find this sort of video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. We have a new video every week. And if there's a topic that you'd like to see us cover, feel free to leave them down in the comment section down below. We're always looking out for new ideas. Let's get into today's video. Before we get into what makes these chargers different, let's talk about something they all share in common. Tenergy's chargers often have something that says smart or intelligent, and what that means is that they all contain a microprocessing unit, and that helps the charger to track your battery charging status, as well as make sure it has a full charge. So for example, if you have a nickel-based battery, it'll use negative delta V detection to determine if the battery is full. And if you have a lithium-based battery, it'll use constant current, constant voltage, which is also known as CCCV, to ensure that your batteries are fully charged. Another thing that Tenergy chargers have in common is they have independent charging channels. So what that means is, for example, with this charger, you can recharge any number of batteries. It could be an even amount or an odd amount, and the charger will automatically detect the battery size and chemistry and fully recharge them with the correct current, as long as those battery size and chemistry are compatible with the charger. And because safety is a very important priority here at Tenergy, we've also built in some safety protections into all these chargers. They include short circuiting, reverse polarity, and a bad cell detection. Another thing that they also have in them is a safety timer. So if these chargers have been detecting that you've been charging your batteries for too long, they'll automatically stop the charging to give your battery some time to rest. Now let's get on to choosing your charger. First thing you want to do when choosing a charger for your batteries is determining what kind of batteries you have at home. If you have a lot of nickel metal hydride or nickel cadmium batteries that are AA and AAA in sizes, these chargers are gonna be the ones you wanna look at. Our TN480U and our TN438 are gonna be great for those. But if you have additional battery sizes or chemistries, you wanna take a look at chargers such as these. For example, our TN486U is compatible with nickel-based batteries that are AA, AAA, C, D, and 9 volt sizes. Or if you have additional chemistries and sizes such as 18650 lithium-ion batteries, you want to consider our, char our TN456 charger, which is compatible with nickel-based batteries, but also lithium-ion-based batteries and a variety of sizes. We also have all this information in a chart available with the link in the description, so check that out if you're curious. A little pro tip, if you notice a U at the end of our model name, such as our TN486U, it has a micro USB or USB-C port, which it uses to recharge your battery. And that just offers a little bit more convenience for you to recharge your batteries away from AC port. The next thing you wanna ask yourself is how many batteries you need and how frequently are you recharging them? For example, let's say you're a photographer that needs a AA and AAA batteries for your equipment daily. You will want something like our TN438 charger, which has 16 slots, or our TN160, which has 12 slots, to recharge 12 batteries at the same time. You can just recharge your batteries the night before the shoot, or even charge them in the car with the car adapter. If you need less batteries than that every day, such as like, let's say, eight batteries for your kids' electronics, like toys, or gaming controllers, you want to consider something more like our TN477U or TN480U, which is good for recharging eight batteries at the same time. And if you find yourself using like one to four batteries at a time, you want to consider something like our TN47U or T156, which is great for something like remote controllers or just flashlights that you'll use every now and then. The next thing you want to do is determine how fast you want your charger to be. And this is determined with the charge current, which is measured in milliamp. And you can find this information on the charger or in its manual. 
Let's use the TN438 charger for example. The charge current for AA batteries is 500 milliamp, so it usually takes between 3 to 6 hours to fully recharge a AA battery to 100%, and that's considered a fast charger. A slow charger would normally charge around 200 milliamp, and that can take around 14 to 16 hours to recharge the battery to 100%. An important thing to note is that your charging rate is dependent on your battery's capacity. For example, if you have a small capacity such as 600 milliamp hour battery and you're recharging at a high rate like 1000 milliamp, this will be very dangerous for the battery and expose it to overcharging and overheating and will reduce the overall lifespan of your battery. But then again, nobody wants a charger that takes more than 20 hours to recharge the battery, unless it's intentional. So when you're looking for a fast charger to recharge your batteries, double check and make sure that it has different charging speeds for your different battery sizes. This will avoid damaging your battery. For example, this TN486U charger has three different charging speeds. For AA, C, and D, it will recharge at 600 milliamp. For AAA batteries, it will recharge at 300 milliamp. And for 9 volts, it will recharge at 35 milliamp. The charger will automatically detect the battery size and apply an appropriate charge current for the batteries. Another thing you want to consider is if your charger has a discharge function. As its name implies, what it does is it will discharge your batteries to 0%. This is a good to have feature, but it's not required in most cases. Here are some examples where you may need it. The first example where you might want to use this function is with NICAD batteries, which are prone to memory effect. By fully discharging the batteries and then recharging them back up, you can help alleviate the memory effect on these kind of batteries. Another example where you might want to use a discharge function is with batteries that have been sitting around a while and haven't been used. By Discharging them and then recharging them back up, you'll recalibrate the batteries to work at their original capacity. Here are some chargers that have the discharge function. The TN438, the TN456, and the, the T9688. The last thing you want to consider is how much detail you want from the charging process. And this is more of a personal preference. For example, if you want to see more detail from the charging process, then something like the TN480U or the TN486U might be something you'd prefer. Or if you're someone more like me who wants to take full control over the discharging and charging process, then something like this, the TN456, it has four charge current options and two discharging current options to choose from. And with that, we hope that we've helped you out with the charger selection process. Don't forget to check out related videos down below for more tips and tricks. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the section and we'll be happy to help.